Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. I am here with Bailey Messiah. We named this little guy the other day in my live stream. Um, he is half paint by Marita Winners and he was painted by Haley Marie Armstrong from Dream Babies. Um, this is my second baby from her, um, the first one I sold. So I plan on keeping this little guy. He is a... Um, He's a micro preemie. I guess you would call him a micro preemie. Um, he's about 15, 16 inches, something like that. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show him up close and personal. Sorry for the squeaking. I'm trying to get this is this right. I didn't. I don't have time to wait to sunlight and all that stuff. So you guys have to depend on my artificial lighting, which I think is doing pretty good. See if I hold the light over this way, you can see it's coloring really, really good. All right, so just know that the blanket that he's laying on is a cream color. And I think his onesie is almost like a winter white. It's not like a white, 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 white. All right. Let me zoom in. Oh, I am zoomed in. Okay, fine. I will take it off tripod in a little bit. And I will go over this. Guys, if you have not joined the next level, um, we are still rocking and rolling in there. That's my paid channel membership. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, it is $4.99 a month. And we do live streams in there. And I do video content. Oh, that's perfect. That's beautiful lighting for him. Um, so, yeah. You know, I for me, when I get a baby, rather it's my work or someone else's work, I do try my very best to show them as close to what they really look like in person. Because I think that, you know, especially me being a <laughs> big time collector, uh, I really, really look to my fellow collectors and, you know, their videos and their photos and, and also the artist stuff and kind of like to get an idea, a feel of an artist if I'm curious about their work or want to visit, you know, get their work myself. I'm taking guys down off tripod. Um, and... So I try to show it as natural as possible because I think that's kind of important. I don't use filters um, unless I'm making a funny and it's usually I'm not, do, I don't do that hardly ever because I just don't want anyone to be deceived. So this is I'm up close. Hold on, I'm gonna hold the light over a little bit so you guys can see details. Um, I feel like Haley is starting to get into using a lot more colors and I feel like she's step, stepped it up a, a, a bit much more with details with this baby. Um, I can see quite a bit of veining in his head and you know, a lot more colors she used this time around, um, which is pretty cool. And I mean, all her work is very realistic, but this baby is a much smaller baby. And sometimes when babies are much younger, they have a lot more going on than babies as their colors start to even out and stuff like that. So, um, that is the... The beauty of having the really small babies, you f it it makes an artist want to <laughs> go crazy in detail. Um, there we go. So hands. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. There. Yeah. Um. So. I think it's a, a definitely difference in between 
when painting a Caucasian baby versus a AA baby. An AA baby takes more work just trying to get the skin tone itself. Forget about the fine details. That's just icing on the cake. Getting the skin tone is the hard part. Um, but I think for me, when I try to paint Caucasian babies, it's hard for me to get the skin tone. Harder for me to get the skin tone right than um, AA because it's not as familiar to me as AA, but love it. So I just thought I would share some of those details. He has brown, and I know it doesn't show up as easy on camera, but his eye color is actually brown. They're not like a stream light brown, but they are brown. Um, and his hair looks like it's, it almost looks like it's painted in some instances, but it's actually rooted. So, I mean, he does have some fine baby hairs painted on his forehead. You can't really see them on camera. You barely can see them in person, but they're there. Um, and they look like just regular hair. So, you know, definitely one of the best babies that I've collected as far as detail goes. Um, and just the special effects. I think... That is one of the things that really makes uh, this artist's work stand out too. The little special effects. And they're not overly done, but just enough. Sometimes we can overpaint a baby. And sometimes we can underpaint a baby. And I think they're both equally just as bad if you overpaint as underpaint. But this baby, to me and to my liking, is just perfect. Just pure perfection. Um, the other baby I had had a little bit more crusties on the lip part, but he does have a little, he does have the little texture on the tongue, which I like to do on babies with tongues sometimes too. Um, but yeah, I, that's, that's it. This is my little guy and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing him um his texture is very similar to mine i'm very big on texture i love texture on my reborns look at the back of his head let me show you up now his hair is kind of messy because of the um but i'm gonna brush that because he's laying on it of course but you could probably do this with your hand but this this brush is as soft as using my hand. Um, but he has a lot of little markings in his the back of his head even too. This is what the bottom of the back of his legs look like. So again, just a really all around beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little boy. And he is more of my personal collection i will try to show him from time to time but as you guys know a lot of my personal babies kind of like like him and stuff from other artists kind of goes in my room and they don't usually be in the nursery as much so i end up forgetting to record them because they're for my personal enjoyment to look at and to so um, this baby was not cheap that is the thing when you get you know these detailed babies and quality babies they're not gonna be cheap um, and you don't get a discount because they're small so um, he cost almost two thousand dollars and for those that might be wondering but to me, it's worth it. It's art. It's timeless. Um, the way that he's made the texture, I feel like he will hold up um, for a lifetime. And he will sustain many ch clothes changing if I wanted to because of his texturing. But 
I probably won't dress him as much because he is so tiny and it's hard to find a lot of tiny clothes. Well, and then when you do, they're very expensive. So, um, he will probably be a baby that I just love to look at. And he did come with a pacifier, but who wants to cover up his little face? Not me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I've said all that I can say. Um, like I said, I really love his beautiful glass eyes. I love everything about him. He's just amazing. Um, his nails are, are done cute. And, yeah. So. Lots and lots of. Just the way I like my babies. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for Bailey Messiah.